I am making them my mint cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. They are so fresh and moist and they taste as bright as they look. I'm gonna start by pureeing some fresh mint and this is not only gonna add great minty flavor, it's also gonna make these cupcakes bright green. So I have about a cup of it here. I'm adding a quarter cup of cold almond milk. Regular milk works perfectly too. And it's important that it stays cold because that'll help keep the color extra bright green. And now I'm gonna blend it so that it's really smooth. I don't want any little bits of mint in there. It's really strongly minty. Okay, I'm gonna mix up my dry ingredients. I'll grab a cup and a half of flour, half a cup of almond meal, which is just ground up almonds, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. This will make these extra fluffy. Next, I'm gonna add the zest of a lemon. I'll zest off the very top layer of the lemon. I don't wanna go too deep because that could taste bitter. I'll whisk these together and I'll set this aside. Now in my big bowl, I will combine a cup and a quarter of sugar, three quarters of a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna whisk this together until it's combined. And now I'm gonna add two large eggs. I'll whisk each one separately to make sure that they get completely combined. Okay, second egg. This is really smooth. I'm ready to add some vanilla extract. These cupcakes are small, but they pack a ton of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna add my dry ingredients and the minty milk in alternating batches into this big bowl. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this most of the way. I don't have to worry about getting this first batch of dry ingredients combined completely because I am gonna continue to whisk. What I don't wanna do is over mix my cake batter because that could lead to a gummy cake. This is the fun part when it turns the entire bowl of batter bright green. And now I'm gonna add the rest of my dry ingredients. And then I'll fill my cake tins. These are gonna bake at 350 until a toothpick comes out of the center clean, 20 to 25 minutes. I'm starting with softened butter and softened cream cheese. And I'll mix these up to combine and get them creamy. Now I'll add my powdered sugar. Most of the time when I make frosting, I just kind of go to taste and I don't really measure things precisely. With these cupcakes and this frosting in particular, I don't want it to be too sweet. I'll start slowly with the mixer. I don't want the powdered sugar to fly everywhere. And I'm gonna mix this in until it's combined. Now I'm gonna flavor it with some vanilla extract and then a little bit of almond extract. Just a tiny bit will do the trick. And then I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt because saltiness is good with sweet. And then I'll mix this up and then I'll be done. I like about a one to two ratio of frosting to cake. I'm gonna roll these in crushed pistachios. 